one of the fantasy football season is finally here. And it's great that week one's here. The season finally could start. Instead of talking about these guys, we could see what these players could do. But here's a few quarterbacks. I would start here in week one. The first guy's Tom Brady of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. So Tom Brady coming off a championship once again here for this Tampa Bay Buck team. And another monster season last year for him as far as fantasy football, obviously, and throwing the football. But 40 touchdowns, 4,633 yards, and 12 in those last year. And his first matchups here, week one versus the Dallas Cowboys. And let's be real, this Dallas Cowboy defense, they didn't do much in the offseason. I know they drafted Micah Parsons, but besides that, this team really has no secondary. They're only strong at the linebacker position, in my opinion. And I think Tom Brady throws for a big ball game again versus this Cowboy team. It's a home game, nationally televised, obviously, the first game of the season on Thursday night. And you know Tom Terrific's going to come out with a big one, so it wouldn't surprise me to see him go for 300 yards and three touchdowns in this one versus the Cowboys because this Tampa Bay team, they're back. They're ready to go. They brought everyone back. They're ready to defend the title, and I think Tom Brady has a huge game, and there's no one on that Dallas Cowboy defense, in my opinion, that's going to stop him. So right here, Tom Brady is a start. The second quarterback I would look to start this week here in week one, Stafford of the Los Angeles Rams. So Stafford, he got traded in the offseason from the Detroit Lions, who obviously never won anything with Stafford, here to the Rams and Stafford. I didn't like the position he was going in many fantasy drafts, but this week here, week one, he's got a pretty good matchup versus Chicago Bear team that his whole career twice a season here, and that's a Sunday night ball game on Sunday night football. So right here, you know Stafford and the Rams, a lot of high hopes, a lot of good weapons on the offense with Robert Woods, Cooper Cup, Tyler Higby, Darrell Henderson. So right here, Stafford, he's got a lot of weapons. He's on one of the better teams in all of the National Football League. And he's got a great offensive mind in Sean McVay, obviously, as the head coach and mostly the coordinator. So right here, I think Stafford's going to come out guns blazing. And I could see a big game for him versus this Bear team. Like I said, he's similar to what the Bears do as a defensive scheme. And he's got so many weapons this season. He's going to have help. He's behind the good offensive line. And I think Stafford, he could go for 250 to 300 yards with two or three touchdowns with an interception in this one. So right here, if you got Matt Stafford on your roster, him and another quarterback, and you're on the fence about it, I think Stafford has a good week this week here because the similarities with the Bears. Obviously, it's a national televised game, and this Ram team, they want to get off to a good start, and I think Stafford has a good game. The next quarterback's Justin Herbert of the Los Angeles Chargers. So right here, Justin Herbert with a rookie season last year starting from week two on after Tyrod Taylor went down. And he never looked back, and he's got a pretty mediocre matchup at a Washington football team that has one of the better defenses in the National Football League and during the season here. But right here, Justin Herbert, we know he's a gunslinger. We know he's got the big arm. We know he has good weapons as well on this roster with Keenan Allen, Mike Williams, who still can make plays down the field. You got Jared Cook, who I think is an underrated signing this offseason here for this team. And then you also got Austin Eckler, who's hopefully 100% healthy out of that backfield and could catch the football. So Justin Herbert, he was about the seventh or eighth quarterback taken in most fantasy drafts. And this guy, I know it's going to be a tough matchup at Washington, but I think he could deploy that secondary a little and get things going and have a big game this week. I wouldn't scare away just because it's Washington for Herbert. And hey, if they're down in the ball game a lot, there's going to be a lot of garbage time throwing around here for Justin Herbert and this Charger team. But Herbert, I think he's a stud. I think he's going to be one of the better fantasy quarterbacks once again this season. And this week, for some reason, I think he has a good game, even though it's versus a pretty tough team at the Washington football team. But I still think he gets the job done, and he has another good game here. So I would put him in my starting lineup this week. The next quarterback is Jalen Hurts of the Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm a big Hurts guy entering the season here. I think this guy could be a mini Lamar Jackson this season for the Eagles. And we saw flashes last year with some huge fantasy games for Jalen Hurts. A ball game versus the Arizona Cardinals versus the Dallas Cowboys. He had a big game last year and he won the starting quarterback job, which is no surprise to me. There was no way the Eagles were going to trade Carson Wentz in the offseason and come here in the regular season with Joe Flacco 
as their starter. So right now, it hurts his time to shine, I believe. And I'm big on him. I already drafted him in a few leagues here where I had my drafts. And he has a great matchup this week inside, indoors at the Atlanta Falcons, who we know last season was one of the worst defenses in all of pro football. And right here, Jalen Hurts, I could see him running wild in this ball game, And I could see a big ball game out of him, no doubt about it, this week versus the Falcons, where he could get probably 50, 60 rushing yards. I could see him 200, 220 passing yards and two or three total touchdowns in this one. And I wouldn't be scared to have this guy my starting quarterback the whole season. Coming into the regular season for my quarterback rankings, I believe I had him at number 10 or 11 is hurt. So I think he finished the season as a top 12 quarterback. And this week versus Atlanta, we could see a great game or we could see a huge game. But I just think Jalen Hurts, he puts it all together in this one and has a huge game at the Atlanta Falcons. Like I mentioned with the poor defense and obviously his running ability and a shootout possibility as well in this ball game. I think Jalen Hurts is a must start in the fifth and final quarterback. I've looked to start this week in fantasy football is Matt Ryan of the Atlanta Falcons. So Matt Ryan, he went under the radar a lot this season in fantasy drafts over the last few weeks coming into the season. But Matt Ryan, he still is going to sling the football. He still has pretty good weapons over there. And Calvin Ridley, Kyle Pitts, Russell Gage is decent in my opinion. And he has a good receiving running back out of the backfield as well in Mike Davis. So right here, he still has good weapons. He has a good matchup versus the Philadelphia Eagles, who I don't think is going to stop him. And like I mentioned with Jalen Hurts, I think this ball game is going to be a shootout for the Falcons in Philly, where it's going to go up and down the field, left and right, where I could see this game end in the 30s for both teams. So Matt Ryan, I think he finds the end zone on a couple throws a few times in this ball game. I know he lost Julio Jones in the offseason, but with this matchup and still pretty good weapons, I think it's a good ball game for Ryan. And he's a quarterback I would start this week, so that's a few quarterbacks I would look to start here in week one of the fantasy football season.